Hello everybody, uh, we're having some trouble here uh, getting a hold of uh, God actually, uh, my friend, and I've been trying to call him up here and uh, there seems to be some problem. Uh, you know the, the phone call, is it's just being dropped, but anyway, so... Uh, we're not going to be able to get a hold of uh, Christ Jesus, apparently, and uh, just wanted to talk with you about a film project uh, that we're trying to work on here in Idaho. Uh, I'm really kind of concerned. Uh, you know, I I was listening to uh, the uh, director talk about the last prayer. Um, he has disappeared from the planet, uh, at least as far as I'm aware. Uh and uh, there's a number of topics I wanted to talk about today. Uh, happens to be a uh, the time right now is uh, Sunday, December 10th. It's almost Jesus Christ's birthday again uh, coming up here. And so I, I wanted to look at a couple different uh, details uh, with everybody uh, to talk about the last prayer. And I'm really... I'm really sorry that I haven't really talked about uh, the document uh, that I've been working on for that. Uh, there's just so many different aspects of, you know, basically what, how to get a film project going good. Um, but uh, I wanted to kind of not show you the document and instead uh, focus on uh, essentially what we would need to do for a film. So I've been trying to talk to the local theater, uh, and I, you know, they show films here in town all the time. Uh, and no matter where you are uh, on the planet, uh, you know, there's theaters all over the world. You can get a wiki data link and actually just get a whole sheet of thousands and thousands of theaters uh whether you're in south america africa asia australia or some random island uh there's a lot of different theaters uh we want to do this film so that it would be really fun to see not necessarily in the united states uh there's a lot of problems uh in the united states uh in terms of things uh Actually, one place that I'm really interested in showing the film is down in Puerto Rico. Uh, so we need to like think about, uh, and I just talked with a guy from Panama today uh, at church uh, down here. Uh, that would be really fun uh, to work on that. So, uh, But basically, this film is probably going to be uh, set in Idaho. Uh, but we really wanted to look at uh, right up in here. There's this kind of mysterious angel or... Uh, angel from hell I don't, I don't know what you want to call it uh jumping out of california essentially uh la you can see that this kind of comes up here from los angeles and it kind of moves into idaho right so uh, a lot of people don't know about this history but the camera uh was actually maybe even partially invented uh edison worked on that out in new jersey but there was actually another guy uh, in idaho that really did a lot of work on uh, the invention of the camera and if you're familiar with the uh, shape of Idaho uh, it's actually quite interesting uh, this is kind of all slowing down because there's just so much information here but I'll go to Idaho really quickly so you can see uh, these are some of the current earthquakes but the shape of Idaho is actually looks like a camera uh, it's kind of got a lens top part here and the bottom part here uh, 
and you can see uh, these earthquakes kind of coming out of uh, really uh, both, uh, you know, the Bay Area as well as L.A., uh, and you can see here Eureka, and then also it kind of, and, and actually the biggest mountains, some of the biggest uh, mountains, at least in the lower 48 states, are out here in Colorado collectively, right? There's this mountain range all on the coastline, of course, but there's definitely a blurb here in Colorado and a second one kind of heading up to the North Pole. Uh, so as we prepare for this film, uh, we really want to think a lot about how we're connected to the rest of the world, right? So you can see here, I'm going to zoom out, <laughs> try to show you what's going on here, but... Uh, there's some other film projects, one called Triangle, which is a Korean film. There turns out there's a friend of mine in town uh, that actually lived in Korea, and I've been talking with him uh, about working on a pure Korean film, as well as one of my Asian friends uh, named Yu. Uh, he, we're trying to work on that film. So, uh, But this is a really proud project for Idaho, because as you can see here, there's this whole mountain range kind of, this is Banff, it's really beautiful, heads up to here, Alaska, and then, uh, you know, basically there's Denali, there's a huge amount of earthquakes. On a typical day, uh, you'll actually notice that uh, <clears throat> uh, most of the earthquakes are actually up here in Alaska, uh, you know, uh, uh, last 30 days, so you can see uh, it's actually even more active uh, than uh, all of Southeast Asia, but that's kind of a debate uh, for many people, but, uh, so I don't want to bore anybody with the discussion, but, uh, part of the planning process here is to, uh, I'm not going to show you the document because it will kind of, uh, make things a little bit too boring, but and I'll just try to focus on new stuff here to think about. Uh, so where are we going with this last prayer, uh, project? Uh, so we really want to try to show it, uh, outside, uh, the country. So, uh, as we work on the uh, setting and the material as well as the script, uh, there's a lot uh, to do. We want to uh, impress the world uh, with the concept uh, that uh, Time was working on. Uh, he was the original director uh, of the film and still is, uh, and uh, spiritually, and we're trying to... He really wanted it to be a very high quality film. Uh, and, uh, you know, he did live down in Los Angeles uh, for more than a decade, um, had a couple kids. And then uh, they're also, one of them is still living in California. One is living in Seattle. And the other, I believe, out in Montana or uh, actually kind of in this area. So, uh, and basically, there's just a lot of work to do in producing a major film uh, like Idaho maybe has never seen before. So uh, basically uh, how we do this uh, is going to be interesting. Uh, there has been a couple major films. Uh, if you do some history of uh, of Idaho, you can see uh, there was a couple films. One was about the rivers in Idaho. Actually, some of the best rivers in the world for white water rafting or in Idaho, as you can see, there's a lot of mountains. And as you look at this, you can kind of see uh, this river system heads down through here and then heads through here. And there's actually quite a number of rivers here that have mountainous terrain. Uh, so in the Midwest, it just doesn't have the speed uh, that the rivers have here in Idaho. So a lot of people uh, for sport uh, prefer uh, the rivers out here. Um, as well as the big volcano, super volcano, uh, which is kind of the story here. One of the biggest uh, and most popular films in recent years has actually come from Yellowstone area, uh, as well as the very prestigious Sundance Film Festival is also done here uh, near Salt Lake City. So uh, we're going to try to do, uh, we talked uh, about doing some controversial showings and previews of the film uh, for the Sundance Film Festival. We didn't really want to directly participate in the Sundance Film Festival because of uh, some conflict of interest. And the original director did know uh, the person that originally started, uh, or at least uh, was pretty familiar with uh, uh, what was going on there. So basically, he's a famous film director uh, from uh, that area of Utah. So 
uh, and there's also uh, some uh, Sun Valley, Utah, and some other areas have a lot of film uh, related actors, and as well as Coeur d'Alene and Sandpoint uh, in this region, uh, as a lot of people say, uh, you know, the millionaires and billionaires from uh, Los Angeles often do come up to uh, this area to live, uh, and there's actually some uh, a lot of wealth from Seattle uh, moving out. Uh, you can see these lakes here. I'll zoom in. Uh, but there's a couple of really uh, impressive lakes here. This is Sandpoint, Coeur d'Alene, and you can see Flathead Lake out there. So these are really clean lakes for the most part. Uh, taste of the water there. There could be a little bit more clean, clean water from my personal perspective. Uh, but uh, anyway, so basically that kind of sets the stage uh, for what we're trying to do and accomplish. Uh, I'm going to uh, pause this video for a moment uh, and let you think about what you might want to do uh, if you were involved in a film, not necessarily The Last Prayer, but uh, wherever you are on the planet Earth, how you would come up with a film that uh, would be worth people seeing. So here you can kind of see Idaho and its perspective with the North Pole, and I'll pause this here for a moment. So, uh, there's been a lot of activity in my apartment building. I'll show you one picture because it's not really related uh, directly to the film. This is a famous uh, polar bear. But what I wanted to mention is that uh, the original goal of this project, uh, because it might become quite a big project, uh, is to actually get quite a number of people involved. So, uh, uh, we're not really, uh, I mean, we're definitely ready to find people that want to be uh, primary actors and uh you know screenwriters and even script writer every aspect of the film needs to be done uh we originally talked with uh some sound people uh playing music at the local cafes in town and we wanted to work with them on some details uh so i i want to try to get this a little bit funny uh we were going to try to get jesus christ on the phone uh to actually help us with this project unfortunately we couldn't get him today i guess he's at church or who knows where god is right now so uh but what i wanted to mention is just the uh i just want to show you a couple pictures uh you know we're trying to look for a clothing style this is primarily going to be a pretty interesting film i'm showing you a couple images from the actual document i don't want to just show you too much because i really want us to think uh differently uh beyond the actual document uh, that we're working on because we have to get uh, the rest of the world interested. I, you know, I'm not interested in working on a film. Hopefully you're not interested in working on a film unless it's going to be really awesome. So uh, this is the uh, first project that I have seriously considered uh, helping my friend out with. And I definitely am open to helping other people on their film projects as well. Uh, if you have a cool project Definitely let me know and we can try to add it into what we're already doing. I have a couple different scripts uh, that I'm working on and I'm definitely interested in working on with friends. So I'm actually trying to help specific friends and specific people uh, solve their problems in life through potentially either a documentary or a film of some sort. So there's just so much here. Uh, so as you can see, we're actually very much related to Latin America here uh, in the United States. And we actually have the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. So as we think about this film project, it was primarily supposed to be based in Idaho, but uh, we're definitely trying to think about uh, what we can do to make it awesome uh, for everybody. So uh, I'll zoom in here and you can start to see some more of the earthquakes uh, and uh, see what's going on. I'll just zoom in here, sorry. So this is kind of the extent of the map and here, so. So this is a significant story. Again, I wanted to emphasize that this landscape here is some of the most spectacular on the planet, particularly with Yellowstone and Idaho. Uh, it does get cold. We actually got snow today. Uh, I wish I could, maybe I'll turn the camera here. You can kind of hear it, I think, in the background. Um, but, uh, you know, so there is kind of some diversity of landscape as well as uh, environment uh, to do on the filming side. I really wanted to uh, thank uh, Time for uh, offering to work with me on this, and it's still a huge 
priority for me to help him out and get this polished is immediately. Uh, I know that uh, there are many people very interested in what uh, the story is. Uh, and even the title of the film is very speculative. Uh, it's not necessarily going to be called uh, what we said. We haven't had a full agreement on that. And uh, there's just a lot of things definitely and i'm trying to work on this on sundays i have another thing that i'm also trying to do on sundays but this is kind of wants to be a big priority so if you're interested definitely get in contact with me and i will definitely try to work with you so there is no doubt it's definitely my fault if i can't work with you so let's keep working on trying to work together uh this is a cool project uh some people from idaho have moved down to los angeles one of my friends he might even be watching right now i doubt it but uh, you know, there's just different people, uh, definitely interested. <laughs> He's doing a lot of filming, uh, for music videos and some other things. We wanted to kind of keep it, uh, <clears throat> although we're going to probably have a storyline of some sort, if you've read, uh, the script at all, uh, but we need to make this, uh, one of the best films. So we're not trying, we're trying to make a timeless classic here and, uh, you know, that means that we're probably going to have to do some things that are beyond what traditional film was all about. And even we had some terrible ideas originally uh, about getting technology involved in the film. And we're actually going to try to do a traditional film uh, and focus on what we can do spiritually really to uh, change our perspective of the planet based on Idaho, right? So... Uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of earthquakes here, and you can see that shape again uh, in the perspective here. And oh, I don't know what's going on with this map, but let me zoom out, uh, and you can see. So we just got a fresh earthquake right here in the center of the United States. Very interesting. So, uh, yeah, and so we may... <clears throat> I guess with this recent earthquake, you know, really, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm willing to work with actors all over the country, uh, California, Seattle, uh, New York, Boston, Florida, Houston, wherever, Chicago, uh, you know, anywhere, Memphis, uh, you know, there's just tons of cities and tons of people uh, that would be really fun to work with. And we can, we don't actually have to come out to Idaho to film, uh, but it would help uh, to try to figure out as you can see that we're definitely biased on the earthquake side here on the west coast right now um, but uh, we'd like to kind of get a full story here um, because we uh, you know we want this to be really awesome so uh, so yeah I just wanted to really thank everybody uh, for taking a look at this project um, and you know it's gonna really be different so uh, you know, there's been a lot of uh, ideas about how film should be done and, uh, you know, certainly technology and uh, our new ideas about how the earth is uh, both uh, practically and spiritually has really transformed and changed everything. So we, I really want to use a lot of the new ideas uh, that we may uh, need to understand about our planet uh, quite far into the future so uh, please uh, <coughs> I want to emphasize I really need your help uh, on working on this project so thank you so much uh, and I really uh, I'm really thankful and grateful uh, for time uh, who was the original director uh, for trying to help me uh, on this project thank you so much so I'm really sorry to get back on the discussion here but I was re-watching one of the uh, most important videos that relates to this project. And in the start of the discussion, we wanted to get Jesus Christ involved with this project. So Jesus Christ has come back to this planet. And yes, I want personally, don't tell God this, okay? He lives down the street. But we are going to be... Absolutely damn sure that Jesus Christ puts his name on this film, this project. I know it sounds a little bit ridiculous. I know you're probably scratching your head saying, nah, 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 Jesus hasn't returned to earth. This is impossible. This might be the only film that Jesus Christ will help out with. And I really hope 
I, I mean, I know this. I, I just can't say things like this, but you know, I, I don't think we're gonna put. It, it's you know, in in some religions, it's it's not legit to put God on camera. You know, if he comes back to Earth, we're not gonna do that. I, I just don't see this happening. But we might. I don't know. I could show you. I tried to snap a quick picture of our Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and it was. It was amazing. It was a moment in history for me personally. And I just wanted to say, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to walk over to his house and talk with him. And, and you know, I'm not going to be like, hey, man, you know, we're going to work on this film together. You and me, you know, for Christ, God, Jesus, is, you know, and, and we're going to get a film going with you here. But if this is the film, if this is... If this is the one, you know, the the, the, the film, you know, like that we want to work on. Um, historically, this could be really, I mean, it's hard. I, I, I'm trying to not take it seriously because it's so serious, you know. And basically, what do you want in the film, right? What does God want? And... You know, we got a, this is Idaho, right? And, and we got, we got some very interesting things happening here. I, I can't even tell you because you would probably think it's too funny, you know, some of the stuff and it's serious, you know, if, if, you know, this, this, this is something mysterious going on here, right? And, uh, I have to pause this because we, we got to think about this. So let, let me just take you back in history, right? Jesus Christ, this whole Mediterranean loops around in a circle, empties through this tiny little part, this tiny little, this little strait right here. All that water comes in and out through here. On the opposite side of that is Israel, where Jesus Christ lived, where Muhammad lived. This is for real, right? And guess what? Idaho, they're saying the Yellowstone, this caldera is one of the most important on the planet. And if Jesus, if this is the last prayer, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I, 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 I It's hard for me to, I mean, I know you're probably like looking at the screen and you're just like, whoa, like, my God, uh, we're going to do a film? And this is gonna be like a V film, like you know what I'm saying? And uh like Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord and Savior is gonna get involved with this. I mean, come on, right? I mean, you definitely wanna help. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm like I I'm just trying I'm trying my absolute best here to thank Timothy for the project because I don't know, I mean it, it's a huge responsibility. I mean, think about it. I mean this is this is the return, right, of offline and trying to get uh, a script to go here. And we already have some details on the script. And, you know, uh, there's certain words that I don't even want to say on camera because I'm afraid that, yeah, we want this to be a really high quality film. And anyway, 